So recently Capcom had an event where they shared some insight about their future projects. The remake of Resident Evil 4 being the big one. At first I thought I had no interest seeing how Capcom had leaked documents about their wish to follow the western agenda of modern media. Now the situation is only made worse by the fact that the game looks legitimately interesting. The setting is somewhat similar with some changes, but it seems to only add to what was there. Cows can now be set on fire and ran into groups and Dr. Salvador can block one of the routes in the village. You can crouch now to stealth, which seems intuitive because you could get the drop on enemies beforehand. Overall the feel seems to be there but only more elaborate, like with the knife use. There's also elements from other games like the now obligatory defense item and the ability to mash the button to stop an attack. You're not forced to waste an item or take full damage, you have an alternative. The knife can be broken but is much more versatile. One of the few good things from RE3 Remake found its way. I was afraid it was going to be worse than that when I saw that they were trying to tie the two games together. However, everything else is giving me anxiety. The character designs, the dialogue and the locations. Gameplay wise the change of location doesn't bother me but story wise if the VR version is any indication, the fun of the game will be gone. Everything will be censored. I don't need Ashley to have a girl boss moment or for her to meet Ada so they can shit on Leon together. Mark my words, that's going to happen. They didn't meet in the original. The agenda is that predictable. Also Ada's voice sucks. You can stop right there. Ada. It's one of the actresses from Welcome to Raccoon City. Another red flag. You took something from Netflix. While we're at it, my God, what did he do to my man Lewis? No homo, but he had an appreciative handsomeness to him. Now he looks like a dead rat. That's progress, I suppose. Usually they're biased or one-sided. I'm glad to see they're not just making women ugly now. I'm torn. As with many games with a narrative, it's probably going to be amazing, but if you serve a trio with a side of shit, I still don't want the shit. I just want the burger and the fries. Maybe not at all because that shit probably touched my food. On the other end there's RE8 third person mode. Not much to say, it's pleasant. When Resident Evil 7 was announced, I was worried it would try to be a PT clone. It wasn't as it was in development well before PT came out. It was basically RE1 in first person. The change of point of view was a good thing but it had issues in the execution. The field of view couldn't be changed and the walking and running speed was horribly slow. It made me age. The third person aspect helps with the spatial awareness. I like FPS games but RE definitely needed to be tweaked. You can actually see now it may just be the perspective but it feels faster. By the way the Silent Hill 2 remake doesn't inspire me. There's too much endgame revelations put in the trailer. I know most people probably played it but it would be nice for the few who didn't. I don't think that Silent Hill is big enough that most people already know the twist. Visually it looks somewhat nice but there's a definitive lack of mood. The scene with James and the mirror says it all. Not enough shadows on his face and a lot of the motions and expressions are exaggerated. You can't let any random person work on Silent Hill. It's pretty delicate. I'd rather have Tango Gameworks for example. The Evil Within had its moments. The guys responsible for this only did ports and the Resident Evil online games? Oh god. Yeah, I'm being careful and keeping my expectations though. What the fuck am I talking about? Even when I don't have expectations, I'm disappointed. When you objectively assess an experience or a product, it doesn't matter if you have expectations. The results are the same, even if you let go of your biases. It's probably going to be trash. 